Deep forefront, and this is where she gets her flair. Most of the bows at the time were designed with, with round bilges. This was sawn oak frames. What she was designed for, I don't know. Yeah. But she's great for what she's doing right here. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There we go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. So the sun just came up. I'm in Brewster, Massachusetts, in the middle of Cape Cod. And today, I'm gonna be going out with Jimmy, Jim Costa, who I've been staying with here in Brewster. His cousin owns a charter boat, beautiful, historic, kind of legendary fishing boat here called the Columbia. We're going out on it today. Gonna do a little fishing, learn a little bit about the history around here. Should be a good time. Morning. Good morning. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You like coffee? I do like coffee. Harry, you're a morning person. Yeah, Rob. Nice to meet you. Uh, great to meet you, man. Sure. Thanks. Uh, sure. <laughs> thanks so much for for taking us out. Did you just What's wake that? up? Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> didn't we all? Yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> I'm Rob. Hi, Jamie. Good to meet you. You too. In the day, this was this was the boat. Yeah. You know, she was designed in the '50s, and he had her built in '64. And when she came into the harbor, it was like. He said a line the other night talking about, I can't remember if it was when y'all's uncles or grandpa or something, but back when men were made of iron and ships were made of wood, yeah. that really stuck yeah. with me. Uh, your daughter's awesome. She's like a rock star out here. She's a real mm -hmm. deal. A lot of the big burly guys don't respect her. Right. At first. Uh, yeah, right. After yeah. a couple hours, they're like, Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Come on, all the time they're like, oh, you're the mate. And I'm like, yeah, sit down. Like, <laughs> I am. Yeah. All right, so we're here at the first spot. Jamie's kind of showing me the ropes right now, showing me how we're fishing for these fish. Basically, they got a essentially a big bucktail jig, kind of dragging it slowly behind the boat, and she's just popping it up off the bottom, letting it bounce on the bottom, and waiting for a strike. Are you nice. going to be doing it at all, or are you just going to? Yeah. Watch me do it. <laughs> no, fishing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. I host this show. Yeah, yeah. It was actually designed by a fellow from Gloucester named Phil Bolger. Probably one of his first ones designed. Very unique, very flat in the stern. Yeah. Very deep forefront. And this is where she gets her flair. Most of the bows at the time were designed with, with round bilges. This was sawn oak frames. What she was designed for, I don't know. Yeah. But she's great for what she's doing right here. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Didn't take too long. Nice sling him up. First one is a little schooly. Nice. Jim with his first fish in the morning. All right, well, bye bye. Yeah. You're on, nice. Jamie's hooked up. She's been kind of coaching me through this. She's the expert here. I'm clueless. Small, great fish. <laughs> Jamie here is like, ah, it's small. It's like maybe the third biggest striper I've ever caught in my life. She's like, ah, look at this runt. Different, different world up here. There you go, there you go. Looks like a much better fish. Doubled up. Oh yeah. Let this guy go. Yeah. So she's fished every year. She was out of the water one year for, for some work. Just was a, a elective work. That's not, that's not bad. 53 yeah. out of 54, yeah, that's a run there. Huh? Yeah, and you know, here she is. Basically, we're bouncing these bucktail jigs off the bottom as we kind of slow troll. Captain Mark, he's up there kind of looking for the fish on his finder. I'm assuming looking for birds or whatever's going on. He's put us on him. Just doubled up pretty much the second we dropped these back. Jim's hooked up again. Looks like a much better fish. <laughs> nice. Doubled up. We got a little uh, family feud, a little race going on, see if we can get their fish in first. So I don't, I don't know what's going on, but Jamie hooked up way after Jim did, but... Jamie already released her fish. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you get 60. <laughs> there it is. First keep of the day for Jim here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Going on the grill. So 
pretty much with any fish, it's always good to bleed it out pretty much right away. I asked her, I was like, should I use the chair? She's like, well, I don't. <laughs> I was like, then I don't, then I don't either. Hey, I'm, I'm old folks. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. I'm old folks who got to sit the chair. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm <changing. laughs> It's like a striper, only smaller. <laughs> Non-stop action this morning. Doubling up left and right, everyone's caught multiple fish. Size matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, About to uh, try to launch the drone from the boat. First time I've ever attempted this. All right, let's give this a shot. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, you got power. You got, it looks good. All right. Time to try to catch this thing in the air. This will be a first. All right, so we got a bit of a problem. The drone is running out of battery. If it hits 10%, it's gonna automatically lock me out and return to home, return to where it took off from. And the problem with that is that it took off from the ocean about a mile from here. So it's gonna go land in the ocean and that's not good. What's it doing? Swipe, swipe that, swipe that, swipe it. No, just swipe this. Swipe it. Oh, is that yeah! Yeah! Oh my gosh. Yes! Yes! I yes! thought it was gone. Oh, it started man. returning to home. It I was know, I saw it taking off the it home. Let me oh, I didn't think it would let me man, cancel that it. That was awesome. Absolutely awesome! <laughs> awesome! That was awesome! 100 miles an hour, my awesome. heart Oh yeah, I know, I have one, I know exactly how you Cut it a little closer oh, than I meant to! Man, that's gonna be awesome! <laughs> that was great! I think I beat a little. <laughs> Alright, so now Jamie Costa is gonna clean up this striper. I heard this girl has some talent at this. Uh, I am not the world's best at cleaning fish, but Jamie here, I hear, is quite good at it. Look at that, like three flicks of the wrist. This girl's got skills. But it was like, you know, the boat needs attention. She had been working a little bit. We probably could have got a little bit more time out of it, but it was like, <laughs> I'll take it apart and fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> so I got the boat from my mom and rebuilt her, took the deck out, took the engine out, tanks out, everything, took it all out. I mean, the wiring was original, the steering was original, and proceeded to rebuild the boat. So she, she, was, she was built with good quality material, and she did not last 50 years, 48 years. She 48 lasted. years. But the builder around, yeah. knew what he was doing. Yeah, it's like, totally. Oh, it'll last 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was right. right. Yeah. He was right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. was right. Yeah. So that was a process, oh and you know, here she is. This was such a pleasure, man. I mean, Jim and Amy are incredible people. They've been so good to me, and now I realize it's just like a cost of thing, or at least you for it. I mean, you guys were, Thank were you. just delightful to be around, and daughter's awesome. She's like a rock star out here. So, if someone wants to book a charter, where do they go? What's the best they way? Go ColumbiaSportFishing.net. ColumbiaSportFishing.net. Sailing schedules online. Phone numbers there. Nice. Love to get them out. All right, so we just got back from fishing on the Columbia Sport Fishing boat. Absolutely incredible experience. It was so cool learning about some of the history of just fishing in general around Cape Cod. I mean, it's just such a historic place to begin with. Uh, Mark Costa, just what a great guy, great captain. Like he's got a passion for for what he does, and his daughter Jamie was super impressive. Yeah, I could tell she can hold her own with the best male anglers out there. But we kept one of those stripers, so we're gonna cook it up and Jamie's actually gonna come over here to the camp and uh, kinda cook it up and enjoy it with, with Jim and Amy and I. And while we were on the boat, we got to talking. She actually has experience filming and editing and obviously fishing. And uh, she's kind of at a point in her life where she wants to do some traveling. And so we were talking on the boat about, you know, maybe the potential of, of her coming along and uh, kinda being an assistant and intern and also a co-star uh so yeah we're gonna talk about that tonight i mean who knows you know i don't want to get my hopes up i could use the help but it's a lot of work doing this all by myself but um yeah she would definitely be a good fit she's got all the skills that that i would need and someone to help me kind of be a partner in this this 
production or whatever the show so um we'll see but either way we're gonna have a good time cook up the striped bass that we caught can't beat fresh fish that you caught yourself earlier that day so uh should be a pretty good time down yeah. right there stay no way good good job cookies stay on here better good <gasps> okay Oh. <laughs> it's on the end of his nose. He can flip it up, but that's fine. Yeah, that's tough on the fun. eyeballs, yeah. You want the cheese here or on the table? Don't do it, baby. There's another one. Oh, oh. Yeah. Amy Costa's famous, oh, world famous garlic bread. Um, it's going uh, places now with you. Yeah, yeah. It's real hard. Yeah. Did you see that corn? That is going to taste so good. Roasted to perfection. You, what are you talking You cleaned it, your mate on a striper boat. Oh, wow. You don't need any seafood? Do you not like it? It grosses me out because we had the fish market for so long. Yeah. My mom would literally, yeah. do you remember when she would do? Oh, yes, I do. She oh, would yeah. strap me on her back as a baby yeah. and yeah. bring me I into remember. the fish market and just yeah. kill things. And I'm like, she really hanging is. on her back, like in a little yeah. backpack. Yeah. Like She's a first mate on a striver boat. She cleans the fish, but, but she doesn't. Do it grosses much. her out to eat seafood. <laughs> That'll be tonight. So we kept this striped bass. I, I'm excited to try it. I've had, I've had freshwater striped bass before, but never the real thing. This is the real thing. But come to find out, Jamie doesn't really eat seafood. Jim and Amy don't like striped bass. So this nice gesture is, uh, yeah. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. I think they're about to change their minds. This makes fish really taste good. Oh yeah, especially while it's still in the grill, like kind of soaks in, makes it like moist. That sizzle, linguisa going on the grill. Yeah, I've never had this. Portuguese style. Nice. nice and fat free, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. There's the good part. Oh, yeah. That'll be a nice combination. Love it. It's like a Portuguese hot dog, huh? Melted cheese. Yeah, I didn't know you put it on like a bun, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, this could be, this could be dinner right here. Appetizer. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> linguisa. 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 What did you say? Linguisa. That's how you would say Linguisa. in Spanish. Wrap okay, this up. <laughs> it's delicious. It's like it got good. a little kick to it. Melted cheese. A little spicy. Yeah, the bread's good too, dude. Nice light appetizer. Nothing goes to waste in the Costa House. We, we have carry. Carry and the um, that garlic bread's off, off, off the chain. Okay. Oh my god, ready. <laughs> For Luke, yay! Luke, I, Miss I you. told them how impressed you were with this this magic trick of Miss buttering you, your Luke. corn. You've never done. It. I just say half Italian, half Portuguese. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Just. <laughs> yep. She never told me. How. You're a very beautiful person. <laughs> thank yes. you, thank you. I don't think I look Portuguese. Like my both my mom and my dad have dark hair and dark eyes. It's the mailman. Irish is Irish. That's what we say. That's what I, was I, mean, I was just going to say, the mailman came yeah. a lot of visits, man. He delivered more than milk. I'm the only <laughs> I'm the only redhead in my family. Really? Oh, yeah, I my grandfather had red in his like beard, but that's it. I have friends um, that are like black hair and red beards.